This is Potsdamer Platz as we now know it. Back in the 1920s, this intersection was already a hive of activity until bombs pounded it into rubble in the Second World War. Then it became a wasteland in the middle of a divided city. When the Berlin Wall went up in 1961, Potsdamer Platz became part of a closely watched no man's land known as the Death Strip. The first segments of the wall were removed two days after it fell in 1989. People poured across the open border. Rebuilding began in 1994. Potsdamer Platz became Europe's biggest construction site. The revamp took about six years. The area was now home to state-of-the-art skyscrapers designed by a host of internationally renowned architects, from Helmut Jahn and Hans Koloff to Renzo Piano. The gap between East and West Berlin was closed. Potsdamer Platz became a symbol of the new reunited city. A ribbon of cobblestones marks the route where the wall used to stand. Little else remains of the past. A few segments of the wall are on display, flanked by information panels. I think there could be more, considering how historic it was. Like, I really love the pieces of the wall, but I think it should stand out more. I think there needs to be kind of more appreciation of its, its historical significance, I think. It's got explanations which are very, uh, very interesting and very useful to visitors such as myself who've never been to Berlin before. Glass, steel and concrete. Potsdamer Platz is once again an impressive hub in central Berlin.